It's been a couple weeks now. Still have those bees. No trusty never did move them. They don't really don't have anywhere to put them. I'm saving all my deeps for supers. Oh well. They seem happy and content. Well, hello there, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to Southeast Louisiana. Hey, got a quick video here. I want to show you something. Well, it may not be quick. I'm going to break it up in different parts and watch the progress. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to transpire. But let's first go out and look at this little double stack nuke I got. It was bearding out of its nuke the other day. I put it in double stack nuke because I didn't want to use a 10 frame because I said at the beginning of this video, I am running out of 10 frames. Or I'm sorry, I'm out of supers. I want to use as many 10 frames as I need for honey supers. So, there it is. Double stacked. Uh, and that's 10 frames. That's the same. It's, you know, 10 frames. It is 10 frames. Just up and down. Anyway, I put them in there. Um, and I did, I put some name brand foundations in there. And I want to see which one does better. That's what I'm out here to do today. I'm going to see which one does better. All right, let's get going and see what we can find in here. Let's open this nuke up and see if we got bees up to the top, if they're messing with us. Now, the flow has stopped. The privet did not pan out, guys. It fell absolutely flat. Flat, ouch. Darn bee stinging me in my shoulder for, ow. Oh, goodness, yeah, they're mad. Goodness gracious. All right, so anyway, I just took two stings for no reason. But here's what we got. We got brand X and brand O, and I put mine in the middle. No flow going on, as I was saying. The privet fell flat. The, the the colonies did not change in the least bit from when they stopped on that blackberry flow to when the privet was bloomed. The privet bloomed out beautiful and then it just, it stayed beautiful, it smelled beautiful, it still smells beautiful, it's still blooming a little bit. And I'll be dog if, I'm going to tell you what, there's some mad bees around here for whatever reason. But anyway, and it just, the, the supers haven't changed. There's no extra nothing in them so I'm not sure why these bees are so angry but I'm gonna smoke those down there just to be sure so brand X these are brand new foundations and it looks like they're just peeling wax off of this one brand X but they're touching it Oh, what's going on with these bees? They are really upset. All right, here's Brand X on the other side. I put mine in the middle. Look at that, drawing it out. And it's been three days since I put this in with no flow, no major flow going on. And they're drawing out that side, starting slowly and working on that other one just a bit. Man, these bees, what is going on now? Brand Mike. Now here's Brand Mike. <laughs> this was a foundation. See, there is some nectar coming in. Maybe the privet's cranking back up. Brand Mike was a right cell in my old frame that I waxed after I tire brush it and they've almost drawn it all the way out and this is three days so there is something coming in. Now, Brand Mike with the right cell it was dead center so it's going to be the first one they work on and that's why I did not put X or O in the middle. I didn't want to give anybody an unfair advantage. I wanted to split them between that. So they started Brand Mike. It went straight to this one first. They've touched this one on the back side and nothing on this side. That's not bad though. That's comparable to Brand X. I think Brand X is a little more, like Brand O has got a lot more across, but this one's drawn out more. The very outside Brand O frame, they're doing the same thing as they did with the other one. So they're just kind of hit and miss on those. So right now it looks like they've touched Brando pretty well so it's about the same it's about the same after three days except for the middle one of course but that's the middle one so we're gonna give it another few days and see who they prefer all right I'm gonna move on it took about three stings just standing there that's that colony right there I don't know what their issue is but they obviously are not in a good mood today all right so what did I see after three days I put those in there three days ago 
I did put I drew no comb up to the top. I gave them no feed whatsoever. I let them go on whatever might be coming in. It's a small colony. There's a good solid four frames of bees um, working into the fifth one. Stuck and, and there were a lot of bees. They were bearding on the front of the nuke. So I put them in that nuke, double stacked it, put a right cell that was rewaxed in the middle, and I put a a brand X two up on one side, brand O two on the other side. If you look at depth, Brand X definitely drew deeper, and they messed with both frames, all sides. Well, no, three sides. And if you look at Brand O, they did it all the way across, but they didn't go very deep. And they also did look like three sides. It's really pretty even, guys. Pretty even. Um, just putting it out there and seeing what they do. Alright guys, it's the next day after we just looked at it, the foundation uh, of Brand X and Brand O and Brand Mike. Uh, so I'm going to go out here, I'm going to put a whole jacket on today because I walked up next to that thing and that, that hive up there next to it, those, those bees are mean. So let's go look and see what we can see in this colony. How about that? It's extremely hot. It's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The bees aren't really working like crazy. That just tells you there's not much of a flow. Yeah, they're on brand Mike again. And I want to do it kind of day by day just in case we are getting into anything that's flowing. They'll build it out so fast. I want to track it. All right, Brando, once again, they had started a little bit on the outside. Very little. And then the next one over, they actually did very well. More... I think more space than we saw on brand X on this side but then he just kind of stopped and then they had that there's brand Mike now this is right cell that was tire brushed off you can see the old little cocoon pieces in there and they drew this thing all the way out this is old like cut out wax and stuff that I melt back down and they literally drew this out this Three days ago, in three days, it was almost like this. I think they've maybe drawn it a little bit more since yesterday, but you know, you really can't tell from day to day. I'd have to look at the actual video. And there's eggs all up in this one, so she's moved right on up to the top. And that's what I want with this particular colony. I want to give them space. I don't want to put them in a tent frame just yet, but plenty of eggs in there, which you may not can see because of the color of the comb. But this is what I wanted. I wanted them to be up in here. So I don't have to use a 10 frame because I'm going to need some 10 frames for supers. So then I'm going to go look at Brand X. Now Brand X, they built bridge comb. And yesterday there was actually... See, now that's strange. It looks like, yeah, they've they've drawn this one out pretty good. They're coming on out with it. So it's, it's covered as much as Brand O, but it's actually drawn more. Backside is almost covered all the way today. So in a day's time. But here's the telltale. They didn't even go out to this one. At least on Brando they did a little bit. I'm not going to tell you what brands they are just yet. They mixed around on this one a little bit, but not much. So really that's the two outside frames. They actually did a little better on this brand on the outside frame. They did that and that. They're doing a little bit better on brand X. The brand O, they're doing the best on brand Mike. Call that brand M, or Mike. Hey there, folks. All right, I'm going through colonies today. Just checking honey supers. Our flow, that privet flow, fell flat, completely flat. Let's look at brand X versus brand O versus brand M, which is brand Mike. With this, we started with putting O O X X, and now O. I realized yesterday that's a double waxed foundation. That's how it was ordered. This is a single waxed foundation. Okay, that's how it came. So I didn't even think about that when I said, well, who's jumping on what first? And mine, of course, was just Mike waxed. <laughs> Good and heavy. I'm thinking all this nectar they got in here, because I put this in at the end of the flow, there really wasn't anything else coming in at that point. It's gotta be from what they moved up. And she's got eggs in the middle. Uh, don't see her on here but anyway they built that out fast the fastest one but it was in the center and I didn't want to give either of these brands an advantage by putting a right slap dab in the center where she might move up not that she's always gonna move right in the center but you know I just wanted to give it a fair shot 
Brand O, we started with it, double wax again, single wax versus double wax, really. And who liked what? Well, they like this one pretty good because it jumped out here, started messing with it, but stopped. And I'm, that's why I'm saying it was the very end of what little bit of flow was left off the blackberries. So, you know, that's pretty good because the outside one on here, they started it, but not like they did this one. So that's a plus for Brand O. But, it's not the whole story. As I sling bees off and probably the queen. You look at this brand O, and they did go out to the outside here on this double wax. And they began to draw it. And they've got this one drawn out, even more so since we've been here last. They got two, just a few nectar in there, nothing else. It's drawn out maybe halfway at the most. Then you got brand X either side of this frame and it's drawn out probably three quarters of the way and guess what full of eggs they went to this one first with eggs they drew it out first now the back side about the same little less again but this was single wax so that says something and this one's got eggs first honestly Brand X is performing very, very well. I think, you know, once a flow hits, it's not gonna matter if you put cardboard in there, they're gonna draw it out. So there is a slight lead with Brand X. And Brand X is a single wax foundation versus Brando, which is double wax. So I think that's saying a little something about it. But so far, the bees like it pretty well and like it just slightly better, but that's not scientific, you know that. That might've been just where she went first. I don't know, but I think maybe that's where they drew them first. I popped the top on that nuke and I want to show you where we're at. This is the end of that trial to see what we're doing. And it's by no means is this any kind of research, experiment. It's just a trial, putting them in there and seeing what they do and see kind of, is there any way that somebody will go to one or the other first as far as the bees? It could be luck of the draw. You could put it in the hive next door and they do exactly the opposite. But I do want to compare how well they drew it out with zero flow on the privet, zero. And, um, just minuscule little amounts of nectar coming in. So let's go look at it really quick and wrap this video up. All right, so let's go take a look. Bees are all getting in from working. These are all my little colonies. They're just coming except for the ice production, but these are just colonies that we're getting on through and uh, letting them build up for the winter. They'll build up in this flow. And they will overwinter. We knew from last time they were putting eggs in Brand X right off the bat. So they were really getting on to brand X. brand X. They laid in it first. Now here's the second frame. Let's look at the outside of brand O. Be careful, there's still, there's still a viable colony. Don't uh, squash the queen. Now I've got brand X elsewhere too, um, but the flow hadn't started and I put it on as for supers. So we look at this one on the inside. So I've actually drawn this one a little bit more on one side. This side's about the same. Now, the one where they put eggs in, almost all the way out on that side, working it hard. Got eggs in this side now. Matter of fact, the queen is probably on here. Nectar going in the top. And these eggs have now hatched and are now larvae. The larvae are in there. So this one definitely is a head. Ain't nothing beating Brand M for Mike. <laughs> this is Brand M. They drew this bad boy out so fast. This was old right cell that I tire brushed off and rewaxed myself. But you know that had old brood wax on it, so I don't really think that had a lot to do with it. I was talking with Mr. Ed, and we were talking about that. And then last but not least, this one finally did start to catch up. And she's now got eggs in this one. And it's drawn fully on this side. And just starting about, about halfway on this side, maybe. That's it. Um, they both did well. I found that uh, the single coated brand X performed just a little bit ahead. So it's hard to say, being that they you know, one was ahead, but not by much. The flow, the tallow should start be start to trickle in and get hammered in here soon if it flows this year. They were put in there 
when a privet bloomed but didn't put out nectar and the blackberry was done. So there was not much nectar. I suspect the nectar on that middle frame, and that's why I put that there because they'll go right for the middle. I wasn't going to give one side or the other the advantage. Um, they went right up to that one and put the nectar, I really believe, from the bottom because they were filling up. So, this is not a scientific experiment. There's no controls this and X amount of hives that. And like I said earlier, I could have did that on the hive next door and they might have done that completely the opposite. So I'm not saying one is better than the other. So what are they? All right, well, Brand X is Premier. I got that Premier and um, they, didn't, they didn't ask me to do any of this. I just did it. Premier was just kind enough because I said I wanted to try it. And they wanted to get it in my hands to try it. It's a new company, you know. They're wanting to get, get people on board. And, uh, you know, I'm sure some of it had to do with me having a YouTube channel. Knowing I would speak about it. And they had confidence in their product that if I put it on YouTube, it'd be fine. And it is. It's, it's a good foundation. Only reason I didn't buy any... I almost bought some the night of that chat where, we were, where they were interviewing in the stream team. Interviewing uh, Premiere. But I had so much acorn, which brings me to brand O. That's double coated acorn. So the difference is I see when you, from the time you open the box to the time you put it in, when you open the box, they both smell the same. Uh, they really do, to me they do. They both smell very strong of beeswax. You can feel the wax, see the wax. One difference is in the air conditioned room, when you pull the acorn out, it, it's, it's a little bit tacky. When you pull the Premier out, it's tacky. I mean, it's tacky like that. Premier has got a thinner foundation. I like that for snapping into mediums and snapping into frames. It goes in the frames much easier. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot because it's, it's not a lot to bend the acorn. But it, you'd be surprised after you snap in about 40 or 50 frames how much, you know, difference that will probably be. So, I did notice that. There's no cutout holes on the bottom, the corners that you break off on the Premier that I noticed. But I never use those anyway. So, price-wise, the difference in price... There's a big difference when you look at the actual price of each foundation, you break it down, but the difference is shipping. Over 150 bucks and Premier is free. Uh, Acorn, you gotta get over four cases and work out a bulk rate or you're paying a flat shipping from four cases down. Um, and when you break that down per, per foundation, they're somewhat similar that, that I could see um, with what I've gotten. But I've only ever ordered Acorn over four cases. Both times we ordered um, like, 700 and one time we ordered a thousand so we got pretty good shipping so i don't know guys i think it's uh it's definitely a winner winner chicken dinner as far as premiere acorn is good too though um i got i still got acorn left uh but i'd say i'd i'd probably jump on premiere next time around because it's good stuff uh, they definitely did jump on it i'm pleased this b is not all right guys Hey, I hope you enjoyed that little comparison. I know it wasn't much to it, but hey, I just wanted to do it. And uh, they were kind enough to send it to me. I wanted to check it out and see what it would do. And everybody has said it's been so great, and I got to agree. <sighs> I appreciate all you guys watching. I really do. I appreciate all y'all's support. It's Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike. And I do bees. Today, we did foundation. Y'all have a wonderful evening. May God bless you. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>